Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to today's AFK Journey video. So in today's AFK Journey video, I'm going to talk about a meta game changing strat. And uh, this strat is super extreme for min maxing, but uh, it's really good if you are into these kind of things. If you really want to min max your uh, unit collection, if you want to min max the power level of your teams, or you just want to min max for specific contents, I call this thread the rate up manipulation paragon slash supreme plus acceleration thread. So, <laughs> okay, let's repeat this again rate up manipulation supreme plus paragon acceleration thread. So, it's a mouthful, okay? So, first of all, I'm going to explain how does this work. Then, I'm going to explain um, how you manipulate the rate up. And then, I'm going to explain who this thread is for and who is it not for. And then obviously let you guys decide whether or not you guys want to use this strategy. Okay. So if you take a look at this uh, epic recruitment, what do, you, what do you guys see over here? You guys see me put five A level units. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys will be wondering, are you crazy? Is it? Are you trying to scam us? Are you trying to cheat the newbies and the people that just joined the game by putting meta and letting them think that A level characters here is a good choice? Like this should be S level characters. Why do you put A level characters here? So this is where the rate up manipulation comes in, right? So if we go into the prize pool, as you guys can see, there's only three units in the A level hero category. And the reason is because five of them got shifted up from here to here, right? They are upgraded into the yellow color legend tier so if you get them you get five copies of them so for those of you guys who do not know for the a level unit that you put in the epic hero recruitment site they'll become five shots instead of one shot for the s level side so this is extremely helpful because if you're meant okay before i continue right uh the wish list is here right these are the eight units from the a level side so the wishlist buy right applies to the A level wishlist here, but because five of the units that are in that category, they got shifted up to the epic category, you're only left with three units in the pool. So by doing that, you're minimizing the variance. You're guaranteed to get the three units down here. So when is this situation good? When do you want to do this? Right. One situation that I can think of is when you want to min max for Dream Realm. So if I want to min max for Dream Realm, what do I want to do? I want to get the best Dream Realm characters, right? So by doing that, right, you're guaranteed any of these three once you hit the A level percentage, which is quite high, 18.75%. Odie is good for Dream Realm. Meryl is good for Dream Realm, Corrin is good for Dream Realm, right? And even if you don't use them for Dream Realm, these three carry unit, they're all really, really good for progression as well. So you can use them for progression. You want to get their shots at a higher chance. You want to filter away the shots that you do not want and you get the shots of the important units, okay? In fact, all eight of these units, they're all really important. If not, why would they be in the wish list? At one point or another, all these eight units can be used for different contents. Arden can be used for PvE content push. Damien's good for healing arena and like a lot of cheesing contents. Then we have Viperion Sylvina, really good for arena or AoE for Viperion's case. And then Coco, one of the really powerful content pushers as well. So all eight of these units, they are all strong in their own rights. And eventually, you actually have to upgrade them to Supreme Plus anyway, because there's this tier known as the Paragon, which requires you to have 25 Supreme Plus units. So getting their shots earlier or getting their shots later doesn't matter. But but the thing is, right, this strategy is not suitable for a few group of people. So number one, it's not suitable for players who are free to play. The reason is very simple because you don't get a lot of epic invite letter outside of your story mode outside of what is given in the game so even if you're able to manipulate the strat right if you go for this strategy you're not getting any s level characters and moving forward with the deficit in the epic invite letter income you're not going to get any s level characters so this strat is definitely more suitable for people who are spending right people who can get epic invite letter namely from the monthly pass then they can do this because uh, you, you have more tickets to play around, right? And once you get enough for your A-level, you still have tickets for your S-level characters moving forward. So 
that's something I'd like to clarify. So the second group of people that are not suitable for this trade are people who are value investors or value gacha pullers. They value their S levels more than the A levels, right? So they are people that are more into the S level collection. So they want to collect their S level ASAP. So this ticket should be strictly used for the A S level in their case, which I agree as well. Like everyone has their own opinion, but this trade is for min maxing because like I mentioned earlier, Eight of these units, they're all useful at one point or another. Getting their shots earlier or later doesn't really matter. And at the same time, if you're really unlucky, you have this um, PT system over here. So if you're really, really close to the PT system, right, you can actually switch out the units again. So for example, moving at, moving back into the Dream Round side, so OD, Meryli and Corin, they're extremely good for Dream Round. So usually they are in the A level category, right? If I'm near PT, I shift them up. If I get any one of them, it's five copies of them. And you guys can see how easy it is for you to get a lot of copies and hitting their EX weapon ASAP. So that's why I thank the guy who mentioned this when I want my OD to hit the, the EX weapon. Because if OD can get the EX weapon, the insta kill mechanics unlock. Right? Very powerful EX. Right? Merrily, if you get the EX weapon unlocked, right? True damage eventually, damage boost from ultimate usage. Corin, same thing, massive damage. These units are units which are good once they reach the, that tier. So being able to get them to that tier ASAP, right, is going to elevate your progression. It's going to elevate the rate where you are hitting your maximum capacity compared to other people. And this is where min maxing works. Or this is why it's called min maxing. Because these units are the units that you want to use. And these are the units that will gonna accompany you for a very long time. So you get a lot of shots on there early, you upgrade them early, you get their EX weapon early, and you get them to Supreme Blast early. Eventually, when you want to upgrade them to Paragon, you also need a lot of copies. So getting a lot of copies of them in the early game to push to Mythic Plus for progression, very, very helpful. And eventually, you have to upgrade them to Supreme Plus and then Paragon if you want to use them at other contents against the spenders against the the heavier players out there so um this strategy will heavily hinder your s level unit obtainment because uh usually epic recruitments they are used for s level units so if you do this strat what will happen is you will get your a level shots more frequently but you're missing out on your s level goodies so do it at your own discretion personally this strat is good if you want to accelerate your supreme plus or your paragon obtainment because you want to get the shots of specific units but obviously if you are not into this kind of thing you think that zebo is suggesting bullshit then this shirt is not for you then it's okay right just close the video get out from this video itself but it is a very i'll say game changing strat because for people that can get like hundreds and thousands of epic invite letter they are going to be able to just spam out their A-level characters and then push their tiers from there. <laughs> Especially for the players that are actively going to push for Paragon. Yeah, you guys can see where I'm coming. So that's it for this video. Just a very simple sharing session. Hopefully this uh, hidden shred can be of use to somebody. And thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.